all your tools and supplies organized can be a major challenge, especially for me. In just a few short hours, I was able to build this heavy duty shelving unit. I'm gonna give you clear step-by-step -step instructions on how you can build your own heavy duty shelving unit using the Simpson Strong Tie Workbench Kit. This is DIY done right. The heavy duty shelving unit is one of the most useful projects you can make using the Simpson Strong Tie Shelving Kit. You're gonna get the screws for the connectors, the screws for the wood, an inspiration book full of other things that you can get and make. You're gonna have eight RTC 2Z connectors. These are the corner connectors, along with the plans for this project. Now I'm gonna follow these plans in here and what we're gonna need is 16 total connectors and since there's eight in each box, we're gonna need two boxes to complete the project. So the tools you'll need for this project are pretty simple. So now we're gonna get on to measuring and marking all of our supplies, our materials for this project. Inside the kit comes the instructions with a cutoff list of everything that you're gonna need for this project. You're gonna need nine two by four by eights and one four by eight sheet of plywood. We're gonna have four corner posts, eight corner edge rails, and eight long rails that are gonna go along the sides. So we're gonna measure out our corner posts. The first measurement that you're gonna to wanna to do is six inches off of the end of the corner post. This is for the bottom bracket. You can do that two ways. You can go ahead and use your tape measure, measure six inches and use a framing square or a large square and run a line all the way across. You can also use a piece of scrap that you cut to six inches, hold it up to the end and then mark that as you go across each and every one. For the other marks, we need to measure up 21 and a half inches from each mark. So 21 and a half inches here, 21 and a half inches here, and then the end mark will actually be done with actual two by four and the connector. So we're gonna put the connectors on the end posts. And a good tip here is to put all three on at the same time, clamp them, and then screw them to the end post. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. One. Two, and three. So I haven't screwed this one in for a very good reason. This connector is going to be the very top connector that's gonna hold the top shelf. In order to get that one flush to the top, you can take a piece of scrap two by four, put it into the connector, slide it up to where it's flush with the corner post, and then hold that there. And this way, when you put the top on, it'll be perfectly flush. Let's connect the end rails to our corner posts now. So we're gonna go ahead and put the front and back rails on. And these are 45 inches long. And I really believe in these connectors. There's four screws that are gonna hold each one of these in place on this side alone. So once I have them connected, I'll be able to put this upright, move the other side on, and connect everything all in place. So to finish up the frame for the shelving unit, I'm going to go ahead and move this to the floor. But first, we need to notch our shelves. So dealing with a 4x8 sheet can seem cumbersome, and what I want to do is kind of alleviate that for you. Most of the home stores will do a couple courtesy cuts of no charge. So what you can do is take your 4x8 sheet over to the saw, have them cut the sheet directly in half. Have them take those two pieces and cut those in half as well. And that is what you're seeing here minus one shelf, because that's gonna be the top shelf and we're not gonna be notching that. There we go. All right, so now that the shelves are done, we're gonna go ahead and move to assembling the frame down on the floor. All right, with our other end on, we're gonna go ahead and clamp these and screw all of these connectors to our frame. So all the screws are into our connectors now and this is an ideal time since this is on the floor to add the top shelf. And here's a good tip. 
I have this on sleepers, which is basically scrap two by four. And the reason for that is once I get everything assembled, including the top shelf, this unit's probably gonna be a little bit heavy. So in order to make the top shelf line up, I'm gonna take another scrap of two by four, put it underneath here. That way everything should line up and I can just set the shelf on there, screw it up, and then we can put it upright. Look at that. Now we're ready for those shelves that we notched. I don't know about you, but I'm one shelf away from finishing this project and I'm feeling pretty jazzed about it. So let's put on the final shelf. Right. The last screw. You're done. You have a heavy duty utility shelf that you can use for years to come. Available now at the Home Depot.